Hello everybody, it's Adam here, coming back to you from Houdini 14, and today we're going to make a morphable font object. So let's control click on the font. Uh, we'll go ahead and rename it and call it Morph Font. Uh, double click to go inside. Take our font, right click, drop down an extrude node. We will visualize it and we'll set the depth scale to 0.5. Then we'll click on the font and we'll type the first word in our phrase. Pull, click away. I'm going to turn off the grid. And this is a promotion for uh, a new song that I'm releasing. It's called Pull the Beat Back. And uh, we're going to uh, use this as a, a rig kind of to set up a possible text animation for a video. So I'm going to select both of these and I'm going to copy. And I learned this. Uh, Wherever your mouse is, when you press paste, is where your stack of nodes will appear. So I'm just going to try this out. Paste. Ah. Paste. It's kind of in the ballpark there. So paste. And paste. All right, mouse wheel out just a little bit. So let's set up our phrase here. We've got pull the, and I'm beat back and then this last one font 5 is actually just going to be a, a blank so that we can use we can animate to this font and have everything disappear on the screen so it'll be a nice way we won't have to handle like visibility through uh, materials or anything like that we can just kind of remove the geometry and while I'm thinking about it here I kind of want the depth scale to control be the same on all of them. So I'm just going to right click copy parameter from extrude 1 then we'll select 2 through 5 and we'll say right click paste copied relative reference to select it. Now the single um, like if I were to say template this guy or template this guy, this guy's blank. If I template this guy and view this guy and move my depth scale they're both inheriting that. So let's uh, merge these guys all together. Tab, I'm going to drop down a merge node, and then we'll select all of these extrudes here. Looks like we got need a little gap there. All the extrudes, and then we'll just connect one of them, and everything that's selected will get connected. Then we'll right click and type bound, and uh, go ahead and make this our uh, template, the bounding box going to make a little vertical room because it's getting going to get just a little bit longer. Um, not too long though. And I'm just going to press tab and type ISO. We're going to use ISO offset for each font and then blend those together. So with this ISO one we're going to set it up. We want SDF volume, ray intersect, offset 0, and we want by size 0 0.1 is fine for starting out. The construction should be okay. File, we don't have to worry about any of that. Um, let's go ahead and copy this and we'll do the same trick here. Move our mouse over. Two, three, four, five. And then we take each extrude from each font, it goes to the left side of each of these ISO offsets. And then the bound goes to the right side of each one of them. Okay, click in a blank area and then just type tab SEQ for a sequence blend. And then we'll select all of these offsets and just connect them in. So this kind of acts like a merge for the ISO offsets, uh, whereas this acts like a merge for this geometry. And then uh, we'll right click on the blend here, or the sequence, and uh, we'll type convert. And we'll visualize finally from this convert node. And we'll set the U and V to 1. And everything else I think should be OK. Now on this blend, we want to also blend voxel data. 
and we don't need to blend position. With this setup, we need to, uh, the blend factor only goes between 0 and 1. So you can see we're only going to be able to blend between these two fonts here with this current setup. So let's drop, put this back to 0. Uh, edit the parameter interface, and we're going to drop a float in to the root, and we're going to call this my blend and my blend factor. And I'm just going to drag it up so it's near the one we're re referencing. So what I'll do is I'll copy this my blend factor and then paste it into here as a relative reference so that I can now have the option, and I'll show you why I did this. You say, why is he doing that? It's because these are grayed out and I cannot extend their range. So I made a new one with a new range. We'll go four, except, and now when I move this, I can go through the entire range, including our empty blank one here. Now the, the problem I see is just the quality is pretty low. So let's see what we can do about that. Um, are these guys set up? They're not. Just like we linked the extrude here, the depth scale for the extrudes, we're going to link the division size to the offsets. So we'll right click, copy the parameter, select the remaining four ISO offsets, right click, paste the relative references to the selected. Now when we change this value, it should affect um, all of them. And let's just try 01 and see what we get. And it looks like we're down here we're calculating. So all of a sudden the, the effect has become heavier. But you can see we do get our font restored. And uh, for animation purposes however it's nice to be able to just say okay I want to bump this up so now I can go back to my S blend and I'll do my animation here. Let's see how it feels. It feels pretty smooth. So we'll go down to zero. Uh, we'll make our animation length, um, say, 90 frames. And we're only going to use the first 75. So we'll go to 15. And we'll just alt click on my blend factor. And then we'll go to 20. So over set that to 1. So over a 5 frame range, we're going to blend between those two. I'll click to lock that in. Then we're going to hold on that for say all the way to 35. I'll click again. That acts as the hold frame and then go to 40. Go to 2. So we're doing once again five more um, more frames. And then from 40 to say 60 we'll alt click on 2 again up here. That's another hold. And then 60 to 65 we'll go to 3. I'll click on that and then we'll go all the way to say 75 on 3 and then we'll go to we'll go down to we'll go 80 follow our suit here we'll go to 4 alt click so we got a 5 frame to nothing happening and we'll activate real time rewind pull the beat back pull the beat back and then if I go here and play the song, we can all get a list of it. So it would really come down to you can either render these out as frames and then do time remapping and say After Effects. Um, we know we can increase our quality with the division size. depth scale for all of them. So as we increase this, it's getting thicker for all the letters or all the phrases. There's a thin one. We have a blank font that we can animate to to remove from the screen. Sunday.
afternoon.